Hey, 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 traders. So, uh, keeping in the theme of doing some correlation trades, um, there's a trade that I'm just about to take off right now, and it's kind of funny because <laughs> um, yesterday I was kind of doing the opposite of his long euro, and I was short euro um, yen or euro franc, and today I am short or actually last night I was short euro and long euro yen and I'm just gonna take this trade off right here with a thousand dollars profit and there you have it just like that um, so another great trade I just woke up to that this morning and uh, another great trade where when you can understand how the correlations interact within the pairs, um, you can you can profit quite handsomely, and um, you love it. It's a very like I said, if you if you're looking for a way to smooth out your equity curve, and you know kind of have more consistent. I hate using that word when it comes to trading. But more consistent, like um, let me give you an example. If you're, if you, let's just say that you're a, um, let's say you win 65% of your trades, which is a very, 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 um, you know, 6.5 out of 10. Okay, so 6.5 trades out of 10, you're you're winners, right? And let's just say that. Um, this is, let me just do this again. So you win 6.5, right? right. 6, uh, 6.5 winners, right? And, you know, you, you know, some people, if you're an average retail trader, <laughs> if you're an average retail trader, um, your 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 ratios are going to be off. Like, I think the average retail trader is like one for, uh, you know, on average one to uh, one point three at best, right? In other words, every time they win, they win a dollar three. Every time they lose, they lose a dollar, right? That's about that's about normal, right? So if you're even if you're a successful trader, right, um, and you make money, so you know you end up, you know, here you do this, you do even this, you do this, right? You do this, 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 right? Even if you're a successful trader, and let's say this is, um, let's say this is nine percent. Right, a nine percent return. Um, you know, when you do correlations, right, and you know how to do correlations, yes, your equity curve is going to look a little bit different because your percentage winners is going to be higher, and your percentage is going to is go, but your percentage is going to be lower, right? So instead of 6.5, one to one, you might have 7.8 winners, okay? I'm just saying average, okay? And these are just estimates, right? And it might only be one to one, right? So the difference is, is that you're gonna, you're going to, your equity curve is going to look a little bit different. It's going to look more like this, right? Something like that over a period of time. And instead, you're going to might you might only make you know, 6.5%, right? Now, you might say, well, why would I want to do that, right? Why would I want to have 6.5% and, you know, a higher win rate? Well, 
because you can do more size. Okay, the whole reason for correlations is size, right? And you can f you can be more confident in taking size because you know whether anybody wants to admit it or not how much money we actually make and lose has a tremendous impact upon your psychology right I don't care who you are um, you know if I lose you know a hundred dollars on a trade um, or I lose you know uh, $5,000 on a trade it's gonna have a big difference on my on my psychology right and everybody goes oh I am in control of my psychology bullshit you are not in control of your psychology at all you think you are but it's impossible I'm gonna repeat that it is impossible to be in control of a natural function okay in other words yes you can slow your heart rate down right you can slow your heart rate down by breathing and things like that but you can't stop your heart <laughs> unless you take some type of drug right and you can't stop your brain either right let me repeat that you cannot stop your brain from being a brain it's hardwired right it's hardwired let me repeat that okay a lot of people don't understand this okay you cannot stop your brain from being a brain. It's hardwired. Impossible. What you can do, though, is you can you can like your heart rate, you can you can temper its reaction to things, and you can manage its reactions. Right? You can manage it. And the real question is, if you uh, train yourself for a very long time, you have to train yourself to manage your brain, right? Just like a swimmer that is, you know, swimming under the ocean and they're diving down to, you know, those, those deep, sea, deep sea swimmers, they're diving down to you know thousands of feet or whatever they do right they it takes a long time for them to control their breathing slow their heart rate right you have to learn to manage your brain and that takes time right and effort and energy but you will never stop your brain from being reacting so if you have a $100 loss your brain's going to react one way. If you have a $5,000 loss, your brain's going to react another way. You can't stop it. It's going to happen, right? It's, it is going to happen, but you can manage it. So one of the reasons that I personally like correlation trading is because I don't, I'm not very good at managing my brain. <laughs> I'm getting better and better and better and better at it as the years go by and as I get older. But the reality is I realized a long time ago that I suck at losing. I suck at it. I'm terrible. I'm the worst loser ever, right? Um, I hate losing. So it takes me a lot longer to manage my reactions. And that's why I personally prefer strategies that are higher win percentages in exchange for lower um, ratios if you will okay and um, you know when I especially when I manage other people's money whenever I do strategies that are um, uh, something like I, like I have strategies as well too that have three percent three out of ten winners right 
but they you risk one and they bring back five ratio right now I have those strategies I've used them in the past I still use them to this day but if I focus primarily on those types of strategies then I find I can't manage my brain very well okay I can't manage my brain very well and the reason is is because I hate losing right I just I just do not whenever my losses start to escalate I don't know how many of you can react how many of you can relate to that it becomes harder and harder and harder for me to manage my brain's reaction okay and I've learned that and you know a lot of people say you become disciplined no you no, you don't become disciplined you never really become disciplined. You can work on your discipline, but you're never going to stop your brain from being hardwired. What you become is you become intelligent and you become mature and you learn who you are as a trader. Okay? You learn who you are as a trader and then you pick strategies strategies that help you manage yourself okay this is really key everybody thinks everybody's out there looking for the holy grail of discipline and self-control but this is the real secret guys okay you know this is the real secret what I have found is traders that have been in this business for three four five six seven years they don't learn some super magical trick they learn what they are good at and then they stick to those things that they're good at right and that is where you want to pick an educator like me who will teach you how markets work so that you as a trader can adapt who you are to how the market is working and exploit it in a way that makes sense to you because I know if I manage other people's money right now and I start going for these types of trades you know um, risk one make five I'm more likely to not I'm more likely to react to big losses so I can't do that because every time I do that when I manage other people's money it's not good it doesn't work out very well because the combination of um, having a big w loss and it being other people's money really teams up to, on my brain which is hardwired to basically overreact and uh, it's much more difficult for me to manage those reactions right it's much more difficult for me to manage those reactions right? So this is a really important lesson. It started out with a simple trade um, where I was long the euro and um, sorry, short the euro, long the euro yen for a nice little profit of $1,000. But I think there's a very valuable lesson in here that I'm going to highlight this and make this video extremely important. It's a much watch, much must watch for all traders. And I'm going to repeat the lesson. Every trader that makes it after three, four, five years, they don't learn some super trick, guys. They learn about all the different ways to make money from trading, and then they learn who they are as a trader and then stick with strategies that suit them okay that is truly 
the secret to retail trading. And that is truly the secret to retail trading. Okay? All right. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.